Let's get this show on the road. Two, one, begin. The front rack kettlebell front squat is just like your goblet squat, but now you are holding it in one arm at a time. Because the weight is offset, it's gonna change the way you squat just a little bit, but all the same principles apply. Make sure your knees track over your feet in line with your hips, sit that booty back, squat down, stand tall. For your press, you'll assume the half kneeling position. So if you're starting to press with your right arm, that right knee is down, left leg is forward. You want neutral spine, so tuck that tailbone under just a little bit. When you press up toward the sky, you're making sure you're not hiking that shoulder way up into your ear. The half kneeling band pull down is going to require an anchor up high, so if you do not have one, you can do a row instead using your anchor that's more at belt line. Assume the same principles for half kneeling as always. Make sure when you are pulling down and then slowly going back up, you're keeping those shoulder blades pulled down towards your back pocket. Because you are holding the weight with one arm at a time, make sure you are switching sides. You don't necessarily need a kettlebell, a dumbbell, or something else works here. Expect some fatigue in the arm, but it shouldn't be painful. If it is, try to shift your positioning, whether bringing the arm out further or in toward the chest for support. Just make sure it's challenging, but not painful. As with the front rack squat, ensure you are switching sides. As always, the same side that is pressing is the same leg that is down. If you need to more of a challenge here, bring your stance in a little more narrow or slow down your pressing, especially on the lowering part. The two biggest faults of the pull down is not keeping the shoulder blades pulled down and as well as arching the low back. So if your neck or your low back starts to get tight or achy, recheck your positioning. Shoulder blades down to back pockets and tuck in the tailbone or rib cage to pelvis, neutral spine. A variation here is to do a one arm pull. Just make sure you're pulling down with the same side arm as the leg is down. Have fun and remember quality movement over quantity and I'll see you at the tail end.
Awesome workout. I really like that one. I broke a sweat, but as you can see, I'm not drenched and I'm wearing not exactly workout clothes. It's stretchy, but work clothes. So I'm in the middle of work, taking a break, get a little workout. I can go back in and do my job, which is phenomenal. I love this one because it is three quality, real quality, but great fun foundational moves. So you have one, the front squ the squat with the one arm rack. The one arm creates a little bit of a instability, challenges a little bit differently. And then you simply go down to a press, drop the bell, and pull that band down. Great, simple, easy workout, and it's completely scalable depending on cadence and weight and resistance. So with the front squat, you're racking it up here, you squat down, okay? Nothing else, I mean, we've gone over it in the videos about how to perform, execute each movement. Nothing special here. If you wanna change it up and make it harder, you can do it, add a little press overhead at the bottom or the top, it's fine. Number two, the half kneeling press. From there, you just simply press. If you want to be more challenging outside of weight and cadence, you can take that bell, flip it upside down if you're using a kettlebell, and you can get your stance narrower. Wider you are, easier it is to stabilize at your hips and pelvis. Narrower you are, the harder it is. So super easy to actually challenge and uh, increase or decrease right on the fly. Lastly is the pull down. You'll notice in the pull down, I start with two arms at first. It was fine, I felt it was a little easy. And so then I went with one arm pull. Those are pretty difficult. So I decided to cycle back and forth, kind of just depending on how I felt. You can do it either way. Just remember, just like when you press, the leg that's down is the same arm that's pressing, opposite of the leg that's up. Same thing with the pull down. So if my left side is up, my right side's down, I'm pressing with my right side, I'm also pulling down with the right side if I determine I wanna do just one arm as opposed to two. Other than that, I loved it. Great workout, this is a really good one. I like them all, but there's certain ones that are just particular to me, I think ease, uh, of use, the simplicity, and as well as the, the on-the-fly changeability makes them phenomenal. And this was one of my more favorite ones. So, why did you say that? You can cut that out. I was trying to be funny and it was lame. So this one is one of my most favorite ones. With that, great workout. We'll see you at the next one.